today we are going to see five type of chart that is bar chart, bubble chart, pie chart, donut chart and a combination of bar and line chart. We are going to start that but after the intro. Hi everyone, this is Subhrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, all the algorithms and all about the frameworks. So please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. So on today's video, we are going to implement this four chart. You can see it here, like you have a bar chart, you have a bubble, donut and pie. And we, I already wrote, write the code for them. I will go ahead and explain you one of each of them. It's pretty similar to the line chart. And if you don't know how to uh, how to implement a line, line chart and or how to configure uh, a chart.js in your angular then you, you can watch my for previous video i will link it there so our implementation uh, will be like this so if you can see so this has a uh, nice animation as well so it's a kind of similar to the chart so first we'll start with the uh, bar chart so it's the, it's the same i think i uh, converted the uh, line chart to the bar chart and give a id of bar which we are using it here okay in the canvas the same id will go it's there and we have we are giving the type as a bar and the option i will let you know later little after some time and the data we are giving the levels and these levels are the uh, level below like, like the x-axis you can see and uh, and the data set data set is your data like type of data so here we are giving two bars you can see you have two not two bars the two type of data like two data set so the two color is coming so like if you want to see one only one will be there okay so and and I gave the data and I just reverse the data and my second my uh, first data test. You, you you can notice here that the background color here you can give the RGBA the alpha value that is to make it translucent so if you want a chart which has both bar and a line you just need to add a new data set with the type will be line there okay so if you'll go ahead and see that you can see that the line is there and the charts are also there so it will be very good for visualization and as well you can do all these things you know, in here as well okay so now we will go to the option so what option will do is either you can give it in the data set level like uh, a like uh, a parameter of a style to a single data set or you can give that in the option so that it will be applied to, to the whole like we are giving responsive true and we're saying that it should be responsive and we are saying that title displays true that is uh, if you go here bar chart is displayed here yeah okay the bar chart is displayed here that is true and we're giving it the bar chart okay you can make that now combo bar and line chart so that will now become combo bar and line chart so you got how you can render a bar chart, a combo bar and line chart and how you can deal with them. So the next one is the next one should be the bubble chart but it is little bit different. So I will explain this in the end of the video and now we'll go with the donut and pie chart. These two the same and simple. Okay, that's the, the uh, orientation is this like a donut and this is started like a pie. So we'll go directly to the donut chart. So the same thing here, we are instantiating a chart object and we are using that chart object like donut in the HTML as an ID for a canvas and all the options we are giving as responsive true, title, donut chart, legend, legend means this one, all these things, the legend. So these are the like the green, yellow, these are the legend. So this is a position you are setting top you can set, set it right left down all the animation animation true and animate rotate means you yeah, know this one this is like rotating animation or uh, when you hit a refresh like it will with a good 
rotating animation so that's uh, what it we are saying and the data sets is a pretty simple like in a pie we have to divide how many percentage of the data suppose you have a service everybody is using that suppose uh, six percent is from india six percent from us two percent is from uk and 0.4 percent from germany and lots of things so that you can divide all those things to a donut or a pie and you can display pretty awesomely you can visualize your data the data we are giving here it's a 45 10 like uh, some will be 100 i guess and we are giving background color also this is like this is the corresponding color so for the 45 it will be red for the 10 it will be orange and for the 5 it will be yellow and so on and this levels is like uh, the corresponding level according to the index like for 45 it will be red for 10 it will be orange and so on so that's the uh, same thing like uh, you got the got it right so just rendering the data and it will go ahead and re render the data in your corresponding html you provided okay and this is same for the pie chart everything is same i just change the name to pie like the type of the donut chart is donut of this is donut and for the pie it will be pie chart so here if you check only the uh, type is changed and change the text as well everything is remain same and i again i reverse the data so that it will, it will not look same now the blue is the 50 percent 45 here the red is the 45 so that's i just reverse the data and the, all the level and everything is same now we will see how we're going to do with this uh, bubble chart okay again you need to give the type as a bubble add as you can see the diagram so like what do you have to give you have to give the coordinate where the bubble will be set and the width of the bubble okay so like uh, here it has some width here has some less width here has very less width some bigger width has some bigger width so the coordinate and the width so that we are uh, giving here an x y and v x stand for the x axis y stand for the y axis the coordinate of them and v is your the like the diameter kind of thing you can see diameter radius according to you like i told you previously if you want to give a option to all of your data you can directly give go ahead you can directly give that in the in your option so what we did we have created an object of your options and we're assigning that to this chart js option so in the option we have an element so element will be for individual element so individual element we have a point that is for an individual point so the point it has a border width which has a hover background it has a hover background color and we have a hover background border width and we have a radius okay our main point should be radius so here we are calculating the border width the maximum should be eight uh, minimum whatever come between one to the maximum level so that's we are calculating here hover background color we are saying this it will be transparent kind of thing so that you can see if you hover something it will become transparent so that you can see you can give any color you want and uh, hover background color i gave as a red i'm not using any context you can use the context and pick the color then you can do some pretty good stuff with that also hover border width okay so here what i'm doing i am connecting a value so like uh, if you check here the border width is lesser is bigger here like if you if i will zoom here you can check the border width is bigger here and border width is smaller here like the width this width is much bigger than this so that uh, this will be look nice if the data is big but the width also should be bigger so that i'm saying that i'm getting the value so i'm just making it as an 8 into value of the v so v is the this this values like 200 here 700 here and i'm just uh, dividing it by 100 so 8 into v by 100 and this all i get it from the chart.js so you can also get it from them okay and now comes the radius so that radius is the how the things will be look right so the bigger one is the smallest one and this is a little bit bigger than the smallest so we can there is a pretty math we are they are doing some math here like uh, getting the index and uh, the size of that like the width of that and 
uh, and according to the width it's in just calculating the base and uh, the base is the from the value given like the v value like uh, suppose your chart you are putting the chart in a bigger screen the this this dot will look bigger there but the corresponding comparative value will be small so that's uh, it's they are doing it here so this is how you will get all the options so that everything will look nice so in the data uh, like you already you may you may already get it from the core like you have a background color like the background color we are giving where right, this is the for the green so this is for the r okay this is for the red and this red has some translation value and and the level is a name one and you have x coordinate y coordinate and then the v value that we are v is recognizing for the radius of the uh, for the points and the same for the green also so i am giving a green value so like rgb the green value and the translation alpha value is 0 0.4 and we are giving the same the radius and all so that's how you can build this type of chart and use in your application and this is just the beginning like uh, if you want to make a dashboard many times in many everywhere i think at least in my company we don't, we don't work as a only front-end developer or only back-end developer or you will face some data somewhere you have to do from the back front to back like full stack that is the trend now so you have to know all these things so you like now what you are doing is just mimicking the data and these things never solve the problem you have to generate the data somewhere you have to get the data or you have to store the data somewhere then you have to get the data then using the data render your application render your uh, graphs and that graph can analyze by someone to make the product better or make the service better that's a different thing so in the further video we're going to see how to save the data in the node.js reduce the mongo and all and how to hit from blocks and all so everything will be everything will be pretty awesome guys this, this, this will be a pretty good experience so if you want to enjoy that one please subscribe to the channel and that's it for today Today you learn how you can uh, display four types of chart that is this uh, bar donut uh, with bar with a line the combo chart then a bubble chart and a pie chart donut and pie is the same but you can use it in a pretty different visualization so please like the video if you like it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and please share the video among your friend we are going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye